Yeah. I'd rather go back to my ex because I can. Married, it's whatever, I guess. Hey, Joe, the streets are always <laughs> open. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, man, guys, boy, little German. This is the best, the greatest one. On, I'm here with an upcoming DJ goddess in the game. She's a queen on the deck. She's been spinning it since early. You know what I'm saying? She done boomed now, now, but she's killing it now. You know what I'm saying? Please introduce yourself, my queen. Hi, everyone. My name is Zari T. You know, go from the north or whatever. Female DJ. Or let me let me rephrase. I'm a DJ. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just respect that. Respect that. She's the highest level. So, I know how are you doing today, Queen? Good, I'm good. I'm all good, but I just want to know from like early, like, I don't know, when did this DJ bug got, when did it get you? Or did you enter the game and try to do something else, then you became a DJ? No, actually, can I hold this? Oh, oh boy, that's better. Okay. Ah, so, basically, I was in matric, right? Um, during lockdown times, everyone was bored and everything. So, I was like, you know what, let me just try something new. I started off trying to produce. But I obviously saw that the Fruity Loops was not Fruity <laughs> Looping. Hey, he's not make sure. He's just too, he's not make sure, he's a full kiss. <laughs> exactly. So, and then I came across this app called Virtual DJ. Yeah. And I started off there. I just started, I started off with house music, actually. So obviously during that time, piano was coming up. So I was like, you know what, let me try piano as well. And boom, I hit up like managers i knew like people i knew because i used to like host at uh certain clubs and everything. all right all right all right yeah so obviously i had a bit of like connections yeah the so they put me on and then i was playing at sukasa literally My any God. single time that i was free like on weekends and then from there I obviously branched out yeah. into different clubs, different brand. areas, yeah. You can keep holding, you can keep holding that token oh, here. <laughs> no so I just want to know, like, now that you established yourself in the industry and you've maneuvered, how hard has it been being a female doing this, bro? And I want you to touch on that mm. for my subscribers, please, if you don't mind. You see, that one is difficult because it's obviously male dominated still. But, you know, every time I come across something difficult and something that I can't control because of sexual causes, whatever, yeah. Stop it. Get some help. It's just like, I know I'm pretty, you know, I got the face, whatever. <laughs> Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> but nah, I mean, like, you know, I just walk away because I come from a very religious family, very spiritual. Pardon? Your pastor's kid? No, 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 no. I'm just yeah. So obviously, I just have to respect where I come from, my roots. I wouldn't want my mom finding out that I had to sleep with someone just to get a free gig because the club is popping. Nah. So I just try to walk away, stay away from negativity and all funny business. Oh, shit, lies. <laughs> Obviously, you've been in in the nightlife. Obviously, working at the clubs, being a DJ now. How is the transition from being obviously a hostess to now you controlling the crowd? How that transition been for you? I wasn't hosting for a long time. I just got a touch of it, and then DJing was like something different because now I'm in charge. That hour is my time, so it's my time to shine. Hosting and. You're just there, they see you sharp, you're on the posters, whatever. But when you're there by the decks, all the attention is on you, literally. Because you're controlling the whole, the whole group. Yeah. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better, I am better. So I also wanted to ask as well, like, what has been the tough, like, for being a female, what have been the challenges from obviously learning the craft, going to gigs, the anxiety, you being shy, how's that been? Um, still shy, you know, <laughs> but I really just try to think of where I want to be, obviously. I want to be big, I want to work, you know, with big brands and everything, but they don't want a shy person. They want someone who's confident. So I have to unleash 
a certain part of me that I would use. So it is uncomfortable at times, but I, I've gotten used to it right now. So now, like today, what we were doing, literally being put on the spot, being asked to DJ, it was nerve-wracking, but I was like, you know what? I'm here, let's do it. I've thought it over and I accept your challenge. So I just wanted to speak on this initiative that Lemza started, bro. Like, having this DJ comments on for yourself, what are like the pluses, the benefits that you've learned from this material? Damn, I get to meet people like Lemise. I was like, mm, that's my role model, that's you know what I'm right saying? Name. Yeah, um, brand deals, you know, um, meeting people from like internationally yeah. and stuff, like connecting with those people, connecting with producers, you know, the actual oh people, God. you know what right. I'm saying? Um, I don't know, like, Okay, the, obviously the recognition is nice. Let's go, come on, let's not it's act not. like it's not, it's not there. Like it's, it's exactly. Not so I'm going to like, but what you obviously you want to bring your single out, you want to get everything out there about yourself. If you had to make like a single tomorrow, you're probably working on it, you could do some. Who would be your dream features on the set single that would you have? Three dream features, three. I need to get PC. <laughs> Just the 99, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Obviously, your girls are not for The so. goat. That's the goat. It's the goat. And let me see. I think that was that was four. Odds. No, that was well, they're like oh duos. Okay. Um, someone like a Dali Wonga for the vocals. Oh. Yeah. Do, do you believe like vocals are just as important on the beat? Like you need that right mixture. Yeah. Or, or are you talking in terms of like the mixing song, the, the, the song? song. Yeah, it's the song. Like on the decks or like producing? producing. Oh, producing now. Nah. It has to work with the music. Yeah. And like on the decks, is it different? Yeah, like you have your instrumentals, you have your vocals, obviously. So obviously, when you're mixing, you you want it to sound like it's one. It's authentic as fuck. Ain't yeah. No I'm learning. I get you. I get yeah. you. So boy, I'm gonna get into like the funny part of the interview. This is the jokes and stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna start you up light. Three questions. Start you up light. What is your unpopular opinion about a relationship? Um, unpopular. Unpopular. And you're a dick. She's a DJ, niggas. I'm letting you know. Wait, what's the question again? What is your unpopular opinion about a relationship? Like, you feel like you gotta do some unnecessary, like, come on now. Hmm, I actually don't know how to answer that. Yeah. It's only my third day out here, huh? Yo, yo, <laughs> shit. Um. Yo, fuck, I don't know. You can say there's no need to communicate. Do you suck at communication? I'm just asking. Do you feel like you suck at communication? I don't suck at communication. There's the excuse, guys. I'm bad at texting. Gotcha. But I'm very good at phone calls. You know why? But isn't there isn't the text like the Nella to the phone calls? Like I prefer phone calls from day one. No, well, not from day one, but like... It, it just makes getting to know you much easier okay, and so you're always busy yeah oh, that's the tough thing you, i want to go checkmate so personally i bet you always busy that's what i'm saying though mm. that's just a message you have to find a partner that understands you i got you i got you so my second question kind of tough we've all had a fucked up ex would you rather gun to your head, go back to a toxic ex that hurt you, that stepped on your heart, or spend a year in high max security prison with the murderers and the kidnappers and the, those those niggas? What's your arm? I'd rather go back to my ex because I can to marry him though. It's forever, I guess. Hey Joe, the streets are always <laughs> open. <laughs> yes. I'm with that. You can be as toxic as you want to, my options are still there. Come on. I mean. So, my last question What is your biggest fear slash phobia? Snakes. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! And dogs. Dog, dogs. Oh, Nanay, I was bitten by a dog at a young age. I have PTSD you from. I got bitten ass today, son. By a stinking ass filthy dog. You should have seen it. Biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. I said, doggy, please don't bite me, dog. And I turned around to jump over the fence. The dog grabbed my ass. That, no. But I know it was a phobia or something. Let me just 
how far were you when you were running? Let me understand. Yo. Just break down the day. Like, I was see, I was at Kasi. You know, Kasi dogs are always roaming around and stuff. Danger, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So literally, um, I was going to the spas. I was like, I So obviously, you have to like walk yeah. a certain distance and then you watch know, Jika. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this dog. There was a tavern somewhere and obviously there's loud music so I couldn't hear it. It was barking. And I'm walking alone. I don't usually walk alone, Gokas. But I chose to walk alone you that day. That <laughs> I ain't no princess though, I'm a gangster, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so literally I was walking and this dog is like barking but I can't hear because like the music is loud. So it's coming to me, I look back. And it's literally behind me now. I mean, the bitch got to drop on us. My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. Nigga. I started running from there. So literally it was like close. Where did it bite you? Like leg? Where did it jump? Like this. <laughs> hide it. Hide it. I'm sorry. I love dogs. But sorry. That's, that's a tough one. Dogs are cute. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. Hey. So I said, no, what do you have that was this end of 2023, man? What can you expect from Vanity, bro? What do you got? What you got cooking? What you got cooking? Hopefully, I'm going to pay some subscribers. Um, I have a song coming out. I'm still, like, you know, pushing, promoting it. And, um... What can we can expect the drop? Is there dates? Do you have a date, maybe? At the moment, no. Because I'm still pushing it. Yeah. But, um, besides that, like, by the end of this year, obviously, I need a bag, something big, like a brand deal. That's, like, my main focus right now. And maybe rebranding, you know, finding something that I haven't unleashed yet, but put it into the craft, obviously. Yeah. So, wait, this is just to the end of our interview, Jim. What's up, guys? Please like. Wait, can I start again? <laughs> What's up guys, Zaddy T, please like, share and subscribe to Basic Boys, I'm out sure. sis. <laughs>